Welcome to the Q2 this morning on Wake Up Nigeria. And who is cooking breakfast for us? You know, Chef Blossom. Hi, good morning. Yes, yeah, so how are you doing today? Very well, very well. Fantastic. So what are we having for breakfast? We're having stir fried rice. Okay, stir fried rice. Yes. Okay, so let's talk about the ingredients. All right, we'll be having... We you make use, use of the rice? Use of the rice. Okay. Um, <clears throat> long grain, preferably. Okay. Some ginger. Um, okay. Sorry, some, what's it called? Gizzard. Gizzard. Some okay. shrimps, okay. onions, uh, eggs, okay. ginger, garlic, yellow peppers, green bell peppers. We have our dark soy sauce. Soy sauce. Okay. <laughs> then we have our sesame oil. Okay. We have some white pepper, salt, seasoning cubes, mashed already. We have some chili pepper, we have some curry. Okay. And then we will have some plantain go on the side, okay. some vegetable oil and some spring onions for okay. garnish as well. Ah, people are still eating plantain. Ah, that's what I, I just got so... The ingredients are currently on your screen, by the way, in mm -hmm. case you want to scribble something down from there. Wow. So I'm, I'm actually still amazed that people still eat plantain. Like plantain is... I don't Very know which is worse, now. plantain or yams. I don't know. But hey, I think this, plantain are these turkey more... gizzards? Yeah, this is um, chicken gizzard. Chicken? Yes. What kind of chicken gave this the gizzard? Because ah, yeah, this looks giant-like. Giant. <laughs> oh, wow. That very, those big broilers. Like, ah, yeah. Yeah, wow. Okay, so what's the process like? What are we going to do? Okay, first, we're going to be um, washing our rice with okay. some salt. Okay. You're not parboiling for this recipe. Okay. You wash with some salt, then you pan sear in the oil. That's optional, but I would like to pan sear in the oil. Okay, before first. boiling? No, before cooking. Before cooking, yes. after boiling. We're not boiling. That's why I said we're not parboiling this for this recipe. The rice. We're just going to wash out the starch with some salt. Uh -huh. yeah. So how will the rice be soft? It will be soft. That's how I cook for this recipe. And that's how I cook my jollof. I don't parboil. You don't cook? I don't parboil my rice for jollof. No, I don't understand. At some point, the rice will boil. Yes, it will boil at some point, yes. <laughs> that, so we're boiling with the broth, the gizzard broth. Aha. Uh -huh. yes. that's, that's where you lost me. I was already confused. <laughs> I said, ah. I will guess so. We will see some tears this morning, you do. So, okay, so well, after doing that, what next? So we have on another pan, we'll have some vegetable oil go in. Okay. Then we'll grate some ginger and garlic in the oil. Okay. Then we'll have um, our chopped, we'll have our egg. We'll just um, so break it in. It. Yes, okay. we'll scramble the eggs yeah. on the side. We'll do the same thing with the... Okay, we'll, we'll go in with our shrimps first. Okay. You know, then the I'm eggs... we take it out or we'll, we'll put the rice... We'll take it out. Okay, we'll take we'll it take out. It out. Okay. We'll scramble the eggs in the pan or so we'll take okay. it out. Then the boiled then gizzard. We'll boil the gizzard. We'll also stir fry in the oil as well. Okay. Take it out. Okay. So this will actually be in the, in the pan. Okay. But the rice is already cooked with the broth. Okay. So like we'll start tossing and stuff. So basically together. we are boiling this first because we need the yes, broth, we need the for, broth the for the rice. Yes. Okay, so let's get started. Time stand still for no man. So for this we're gonna add some seasoning. Okay. So to what give it some are taste. We, in? we use some seasoning cubes and um, also use okay. some chili powder. Just to give you some Okay. So we're going in with some curry. Okay. Basically just to give you some taste. Okay. You can you can decide to use chicken. Okay. I think we substituted this recipe for because it was soft chicken on our screen. Okay. So substitute for gizzard. I just okay. chose to use gizzard. Well, um, wh whether or not the case may, you know, the gizzard might uh, come into play. The reality is Food is very expensive now. No, very. So do very. not feel ashamed to substitute with something you find affordable. It's your pocket at risk, okay? Exactly. And unless we are, you're having guests over, which your guests should understand what your financial capability is, uh, it's, it's just normal for you to cook what you can. Someone was making sauce recently, and the person used the um, fish, you know the one we call pala. Okay. Pala is not fish. very expensive. And the person was also using kwabwa. People, uh, the person actually captioned it with, uh, your shakwa meal or something like that. Is this shakwa? Shakwa, shakwa meal. And then people were like, what are you talking about? Okay. That's, that's not funny. Pala is very expensive. Pala is very expensive now. For you to have like six pala in your soup. Ah. Very Show expensive. Us the way. Where are you making the money? Hmm. It's crazy. <laughs> like things really are expensive. But hey, we still have to eat. This yeah. food is just 
fit for cakes right now. Yes. Yeah. You know, I was telling you that I got the yellow peppers for yes. for three pieces yes. for 200. 200, yes. Yeah. So but it's expensive as well. Very. And very. this one, 500. For one now? Yes, they're now measuring. Please don't say it. Don't say it so that it's not getting to my area like that. <laughs> she still remains to 300 there. All right, we need to head to uh, TT and MM now for the birthday shout outs. Welcome back to the kitchen right here on Wake Up Nigeria. Chef Blossom is still yep. in charge and she's making breakfast for us. So tell us what breakfast is again. Stir fried rice, people. Stir fried rice. Yep. Really simple. Uh, but you know something I've always wondered? Is it possible to have stir fried rice without eggs and shrimps? Um, I feel like when you mention stir fried rice, there must be eggs, there must be shrimps. It's not compulsory. You could, if you want to go on low budget, you could mm. just use your veggies. Okay. And then you skip the shrimps and the, um, the eggs. You, can, then you can skip it, the eggs in stir fried rice? Yes, you can. You can. Mm. Okay. Just go with your veggies and then your rice. Then maybe okay. you serve it on um, chicken on the side or stuff. Mm. Yes. Okay, okay. Because I know there's this taste that uh, shrimps, shrimps give. Shrimps yes. The, but yeah. it, yeah. You can't get it with anything else. You can't. So you're asking, you're asking if you can use dry prawns, like the local dry prawns. Yeah, that one makes it local. Mm, stir fried yes, because right. it's like uh, a continental these dish. These days, the most important thing is to fill your belly, if mm -hmm. you ask me, really. Whatever works for you, just Whatever check your pocket. Whatever works for you. Yes, and then it's of fine. course, uh, plantain, that's what we want to do. Yes, so we'll try, yes, plantain. to buy time, then we'll fry okay. our plantain first, then we'll start stir frying our shrimps and then. So I'm also wondering, dark soy sauce, I know there are different types of uh, sauces, especially yeah. soy sauce. Yes. Uh, the most popular being the dark and the light. light. Is it possible to substitute this with the light? At least to give of the course, results. Of course, yes. So um, I'm going to say a short story about what happened with me with the dark, the first time I used the dark soy sauce. Okay. I oh poured, God, don't tell me. Don't I tell poured, me. <laughs> I poured oh. it directly into the, um, the food. Ah. It came out, it was disaster. I had to bring another rice. I said, parboiling yeah. another rice to make it yes. have like a very salty yeah. and then it would be it quite wasn't even dark. It was the salt for me, it was the color, it was yeah. very dark. dark. So, when you want to put in your dark soy sauce, just measure with a spoon for then stir and put it, uh, what's the word? Put it there. Um, uh, ju yes, just put it little by little. Little Let by little, the simplest yes. Thing that you can think of. If you can't handle dark soy, just use your light soy. Yeah, so that's the way to go, okay? Especially if you're making this. And okay, then we so also have our sesame oil. Okay. Yes, we have our sesame oil. Okay. So I like to put, for this recipe, I like to use a what dash of it. It has this flavor that it gives to... Can I replace it with the seeds? No, no, you can't. You can't. For this recipe, you can't. You have to get the sesame oil. Oh, it has to okay. be the oil, yes. So if you want to do this stir-fried rice exactly as Chef Blossom does it, you need to follow the things exactly. that she has explained yes. to you, okay? So use the ingredients she has uh, recommended. Also, your garlic, do not miss it. You don't want to, you know, miss it for anything. You grate it directly into the pan when you have your shrimps. Okay. Before you have your shrimps in. Before you put the shrimps yes. in. Okay, so the, the ginger, how do we do it? Do we grate Same thing with the ginger, but the star ingredient is the it's garlic. The garlic. Yeah. So garlic is magical in food. I, yes. I can't cook without garlic and ginger. It's that bad. Same here. Ginger, garlic, onions. onions. Ah. You see those three? They can change your meal to yes. five stars. For this recipe, so many people will not use onions, but yeah. trust me, I might use it. Yeah. If they, you don't want to see the um, onions, like yeah. chopped, in, uh, like when you, yeah. if you don't see it chopped in the meal, yeah. of course, it won't look nice. Just blend it. Yeah. That, you, that's another the way puree, to use yes. it. The ingredients are well, on your screen just now, so if you're able to catch them, that's fine. They're still on your screen right now, though. And then you know something beautiful about blending onions? It even brings out the, the flavor heat, more. The flavor, yeah. I feel like blending onions is even better than the chopped Chopping, ones. Yes. Because chopped ones, you have to wait for it to, like, really come yes, out. But yes, with the yes. blended ones, it's amazing. Yes. It's amazing. Like It works see, better. That's that's my own secret. It brings out the whole uh, flavor spread into the, the, the oil. That's my own secret spice. So when I'm cooking ginger, garlic, onions... Mm -hmm. I always keep putting it in almost everything I make. It's, it's so crazy that I even put it when I'm boiling rice. Wow, I'm telling wow. You, just to have me, the onions taste. is very good. Onions is amazing. Onions in particular, but ginger and garlic, they also have their own magic. Yes. The aroma and then of course the taste well. and then it's yeah. medicinal. So if you're one of those who doesn't like to eat it or chew it or even taste it in your food, it, uh, the taste is reduced when you cook it in when your you meal. Cook it you still get yes. some of the properties And the as flavor. Well. Yeah. Okay, so the rice. Yes, I is washed already with yeah. some salt, like I said earlier. Yeah. Just wash. You don't want to parboil for because it will look too soggy. 
yeah. for this recipe. Okay, so the rice has been washed in salt, as she said. So we're waiting for uh, the gizzards. Yes, the gizzard ready. is ready. So yeah. we'll just put in the rice. Okay. Mind you, you might just want to boil your rice on a separate pan without okay. this. But I like to have some flavor in my rice okay. before, you know, so tossing in our vegetable. Using some kind of stock, yes, it, it, it helps a lot. So it using stock is actually very good in your meals, really. It's very, very good. I was talking about even if you you don't have shrimps, maybe you can use uh, uh, crayfish, the yes. blended ones, just to add that flavor. Yes, you that's can. another magical ingredient. You can, how you can use that, do that is soak it in the warm water so it will swell, ah. and it doesn't look too dry. It doesn't taste too dry. Oh, soak wow. it in warm water. But with yes. the warm water, not take a lot of the flavor and uh, it won't. Flavors. It won't. Just do, do you pour the warm water inside it? Yes, just pour a little bit and then bring it out. It. Yes. Okay, okay. All right, uh, the conversation continues. MM is on standby for nutrition. Welcome again to the kitchen. And of course, we're still making breakfast. It's yes, almost yes. ready. In fact, we are literally in the last legs of preparing breakfast for you this morning. So, mm -hmm. Chef Blossom, what have we done so far and what are we doing We've next? We've done literally everything we have to do for this recipe. We just have to, we have some time to um, put in our eggs, eggs like okay. scramble them okay. in the warm pots. Okay, so let, yeah. let's, let's begin with that. Okay, so let me bring out this so it doesn't get burnt. Okay. So we had our gizzards chopped yes. and then we pan seared them in some oil, Yes. our seasoned oil. Seasoned oil. Believe me, that oil is well seasoned. What's yes. in it? So we have um, ginger garlic. So the oil was used for sh uh, shrimps. Okay. And we have our ginger garlic go in there. Okay. So we're still going to put it into this pan. The reason okay. for the exchange, the pan exchange, because we want to have our rice go inside, inside there as inside well. There. So it needs to be large, large enough. Yes, okay. to yes. contain the rice. Everything. Yeah, yes. everything is. Okay, so now that is this oil going to be enough? It won't be enough, so we'll put in some oil. There you go. The ingredients are on your screen right now, so you, if you're just tuning in, it's uh, not too late for you to catch up with us, okay? Good for you. We're making stir fried rice. Yep. That's what's for breakfast, and wow. It's, it's been an amazing process and so far. And the smell, please tell them about it. The aroma is amazing. Yes. Like, I cannot say it enough. It smells really good. And that's the effect you have when you have shrimps yes. and garlic yes. together. Shrimp, garlic, ginger. Ginger. And then very soon the onions will join in. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the eggs first. Yes, we want to have a bit of your baby. Okay. Okay. So we're breaking the eggs yes. and scramble them. And scramble After them. breaking the eggs and scrambling them. We're putting the, our veggies. We have just... Okay. I think the oil is hot pepper. enough now. Okay. Yeah. So we have our green pepper. Okay. So you can use your red bell pepper if you want. It's quite optional. Okay. For any one that you can afford. Okay. Just get it. Okay. And Is it okay to know. break this inside a bowl? No. Before pouring. So you have to break yes. it individually mm -hmm. into the pot. So Why is that? Because you're just going to scatter it. So there's no point risking it or putting it in a bowl. It makes it faster though. Oh, okay. As well. I like to have everything prepped, so I, I'm more likely to break it in a bowl and even yeah, you can <laughs> stir it up there, pour it in. Okay. So you just... So you don't want to use too many onion oil. Too much oil. Too much oil, oil yes. So it can scramble quickly. Yes, and properly. Yeah. The reason I added some extra oil is because we're having the rice go in. Okay. Are we taking the eggs out after scrambling? No, we won't take it out. Okay, okay. So because we have all this well seasoned, ready, so ready, there's no need to take, take it, out. it out. Yes. Okay. But if you're going to, if you're doing it on one pan, you take it out, then separate the shrimps, the gizzard, okay, one after okay. the other like that. Okay. 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 So we're going to put everything together. Yes. See, we made it really easy for you. The eggs have been scrambled. This is the easy way to do the scrambled eggs. Egg. Now, because the oil has been seasoned already, we don't need to add, add anything else. Salt, so we are just going to put yes. everything. And at the end of the show, you definitely see the see finished the product. Yep. Right now, however, it's time for us to be serenaded uh, with a performance by OD. Can't wait for this one. Take it away, OD. 
Okay, so welcome to the kitchen. Thank you. It's Glad time for here. breakfast and Good. a stir fry rice by Chef Blossom. Please dig in. We want to have your opinion uh, on it. All right. So tell us what you make of it. Um, all right. Stir fried rice. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Please have the shrimp on it. Yes. <laughs> yes, sir. Try necessary. Yes, sir. Try All right. You like it? I like it. All right. All right. Well done, Blossom. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Chef Blossom. Yeah. And thanks to everyone who has been a part of the show today. Thank you so much for always watching. Ma. Thanks to the crew. Thanks to all our guests. And thanks to you again. We're going to be back again tomorrow morning. Yes. 7 a.m., y'all. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.